Salutations everyone, I'm the Ultimate Waterman Overlord and welcome to Sakura Halloween. Yes, this is the Halloween special because you know, Halloween's coming up. I was like, let's play a Halloween game. I was like, I was searching for an official novel, a Halloween official novel to play and I've, I thought about this one because this one was last year, but I couldn't find a uh, censored version to download. So um, we have the uncensored version and yeah, so there might be some great editing of me Censoring this because yeah, yeah, let's get into this visual novel. I guess let's hope it's good. I'm a bit ill That's why I haven't done a video. I haven't created a video in like two weeks, but I had some spare to upload So yeah, this is gonna be a Halloween special I don't know how long this game is or this visual novel is but it might be two episodes three it might be more than one episode because It might be hours long. Yeah, let's just get right to it. And it's a Sakura game Sakura game Sakura game I don't know so that means um, I have to voice the characters, and it's going to be a fucking pain because it's a Yuri. The Yuri, that's a uh, lesbian, right? It's a lesbian visual novel, and I cannot do girl voices, and I'm ill. So yeah, it's going to be fun. And if I cough, I hopefully will edit it out. So yeah, let's get right into it. Fucking hell, that's a long intro. Yeah, we're this hot vampire, I think. Me, you, me, you. Why is the fucking music still so loud? I turned it down as well. That's not loud enough now. There we go. That's good. Right, we're Miyu. I think she's a vampire. She looks like a vampire. She's got fangs. She looks pretty hot. She's got some little ghosts in her ghost hairband, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, she's look. She looking fit. And yeah, now I've got to give her a fucking voice, Miyu. I just can't believe it. It's unthinkable. How could Countess Elizabeth hold a Halloween party and not invite I, the great renowned Miu de Lioncourt? Just what is this world coming to? I kick at the grass with the tip of my heeled shoe and pout. Oh god, there's more than one character. You know what that means? Oh fuck. Every time it was Sakura Dungeon to be fuck off. We're not we're never going back to Sakura Dungeon, I'm just saying. Fuck that game. What voice do we give Sissy? What is Sissy, first of all? I don't think pouting at the undergrowth like that will help, Miss Miu. They both sound posh and same. I'm not sure what's going with here. You're right, then I'll pout at Elizabeth's mansion. That's not exactly what I meant, but... Elizabeth's mansion is on the top of the tall hill, far, far away from prying human eyes. I don't think there exists anywhere in the world a mansion more fitting for a countess than this. It's five stories high with turrets and towers and a slate roof. The mansion is lined with a with a rat what? What? Iron fence with spikes on the top. The metal shimmers beneath the moonlight. The trees in the garden are thin and withered with long branches. Hundreds of hundreds of bats roast in the trees. I can see their yellow eyes peering at me through the gloom. Yeah, sounds great so far. Great vision of already. <laughs> the night sky is a dark, velvety blue, dotted here and there with tiny stars. The stars shimmer, they look cold and formidable. The round pale moon hanging low in the sky is even more haunting. The story goes that Countess Elizabeth married into a wealthy family centuries ago. When she's when she's English, when she secured her husband's riches, she sucked his blood dry and killed him. Oh, nice one. Now she owns this wonderful house and all his money, and she's been living here for around 300 years. She's so lucky. I wish I had a house like this, but I haven't managed to get uh, my hands on a rich human yet. Fair enough, yeah? Sigh. Ooh. This mansion is the perfect place for Countess Elizabeth's famous Halloween party, which celebrates all the ghosts and witches and werewolves and vampires. Jesus Christ, put some fucking commas in this, don't use and. Who have to hide away among, among human society during the rest of the year. But I didn't get an invitation. Fucking bitch, she didn't invite me. Look at me, I've got massive titties. Why wouldn't you invite this massive titty? Hot vampire, come on. This must have been some kind of mistake. I just sound like a fucking, um, this girl sounds like a, um, I don't know, a snob. But like a, um, uh, not as a snob as, ah, oh, fuck it, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Everybody knows me, I'm from the D. Lioncourt family. We're one of the most famous clans of vampires there is in France. Oh god, we're French. I'm not doing a French accent. I'm not doing a French female accent. You know, that would just be... Oh god, it, I'd butcher it first of all, and it would just be terrible. Humans have... Uh, humans have even written books about us. 
How could Elizabeth have forgotten to send me an invitation? What bitch, me? Did it slip her mind? I press one hand beneath my chin and ponder. She is getting quite old. I've heard she's 666, wow. Well, fair enough. Well, I guess I can't judge her too much. We all forget things from time to time. I shrug and clap my hands together. I'll just show up the I'll just show up at the front door and let myself in. Yeah, why not? Just just barge in like hello! I didn't get an invitation, just let me in or I'm gonna fucking eat you! I'm gonna eat you! I bet everyone will be really surprised. I uh, I'll bet. Elizabeth will be so distraught that she forgot to invite me. She'll probably prostrate prostrate herself at my feet and beg for forgiveness. Oh, 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 oh. What is this gay official novel? Why why am I so bad? Hey, me you. That I fucking already butchered Sissy's, Sissy's voice. Huh? What is it, Sissy? Sissy is my little ghostly companion. I met her in Germany, I think. That was a while ago. So you've got a ghost. Is it on your head? Is it in your hair? Is that your ghost friend? One thing led to another, and somehow her son, uh, her soul got bound to my favourite hair ties. Yeah, fair enough. To cut a long story short, this is kind of, sort of, uh, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, permanently stuck to my head now. Fair enough. She's a bit upset about it at first, but I think she's gotten used to it. Maybe. <laughs> she can be pretty grouchy from time to time. I don't understand why. She should feel blessed to be bonded to a great and beautiful vampire like me. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at me. Look at my ginormous titties. Double Ds. Yes. Are you sure, Count Elizabeth, forgot to send you an invitation? What is this voice? Why are we butchering all the voices, Thomas? I wonder. If she did forget, uh, she must have failed to send me an invitation on purpose. I uh, butchered that already. God, this visual novel is going to kill me. I'm going to do Sakura fucking Santa. Is it Sakura Santa? Uh, at fucking... Was it Sur Sakura Christmas? At fucking Christmas time. That's right. Keep going on with, uh, keep going with that train of thought. But that's inconceivable. Who would want... Who, who wouldn't want to spend time with me? Mia, dear... I know your name, Mia. We've been together for decades. Has it really been that long? It feels like longer. Sigh. Haven't you, haven't you ever considered that maybe, just maybe, people don't want to spend time with you because they think you're a pain? I mean, if you ca if I mean, why wouldn't you want to spend time with this, I'm just saying? I mean, come on. You do have quite a reputation. Of being a fearsome or inspiring vampire. Or being annoying. I poke Sissy in the side of my index finger. I keep switching voice from voice. I cannot do girl voices. Please help me. Someone teach me. How am I annoying exactly? I'm one of the most beautiful, mature, elegant vampires there are. You don't find many vampires as regal and ladylike as me. It's simply not possible to have a Halloween party without the great Mia de Lioncourt in attendance. <laughs> and you wonder how you're annoying. Oh, yes. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean, Sissy. I'm sure you don't. You've never been very good at reading between the lines. What lines? There are no lines! It's a figure of speech. Hmm. I pout and fold my arms. God, this fissure novel's gonna kill me by the end of it, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get through it. Oh god, I need some water. You should know now you should know by now, sissy, that I don't care for word games. Then let me put it more simply for you. You weren't advised to this party. Ergo, you're not wanted here. Why don't you go home and have a quiet night? Oh, sissy, you're so paranoid. Of course I'm wanted. Everyone, wa everybody, everybody wants me. I feel like I've got her voice, like, perfect. Like, what she would actually sound like. A sissy bitch, but her companion's called sissy, so it's weird. About as much as the Ebola virus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just throwing that in there, sure. What was that? Nothing, Miss Miu. You're right. You're wonderful as always, and I bet everybody at the Countess party is dying to see you. I know, right? That's why I should try and hurry up and let myself inside. Now, let's see. God, if these voices, I'm gonna die. For some reason, Elizabeth seems to have closed the gate. <laughs> I wonder why. I tag at one of the route iron bars. Route? route I, how do you say these words? English, how do you speak English? Iron bars. And locked it too. Imagine that, it's almost like she doesn't want any unexpected and uninvited guests. 
I can't blame her. Tryhards and known names who fancy themselves are, uh, ha who fancy themselves as very important phantoms are such a nuisance. Indeed. It's a good thing I'm a vampire. I can just do this. Like what? Fly over it because you're a fucking turn into a bat. I'm guessing. Oh god, this game's gonna kill me. With a click of my fingers, I turn myself into a bat. I flap over the gates with my leathery wings. Sissy's still attached to my head, and re and re rematerialize on the other side. There, no punny punny little gate is gonna keep me out. Very good, Miss Miyu. Now let's go and introduce ourselves. Hey, <laughs> Elizabeth will be so shocked. God, I can't keep up this voice, can I? I'm gonna fucking die at the end of this. How long's this game gonna be? Oh my god. I can't wait to see the look on her face. I can't wait either. Oh god, this game's gonna kill me. I'm gonna keep saying it. Just don't blame me if she sets her uh, <laughs> if she sets her hellhounds on you. God, I'm gonna die. Salutations, everyone, and what a horrible night this is for a Halloween party. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting, but it appears our poor hostess forgot to send me an invitation. Can you imagine that? Well, I had no desire to ruin your nights over a mere misunderstanding. A Halloween party isn't quite a Halloween party without me to the lion court after all. I have finally arrived, so you may rest at ease. This fearsome, frightening night can finally commence. <laughs> My laughter echoes around the hall. There's no response. Jesus Christ, I'm going to die. Now, that's strange. I take my hand from my mouth and look around. The hall, the hall looks uh, looks the same as I remember it uh, the last time I went to one of Elizabeth's Halloween parties, which must have been 60 years ago now. Jesus Christ, she really doesn't like you, does she? Time sure flies. Party goers are dotted here and there, all holding glasses filled with red liquid. Yeah, I wonder what that red liquid is. Hmm, wine? No, it's fucking blood. Is it blood? Oh, maybe. Well, hmm, is it blood? Hmm, let's think about this, everyone. Is it blood? Hmm. Yes, it's blood. I hope it's blood. There are a few vampires, a ghoul, several zombies, a, a coven of cackling witches. At least they were cackling until they saw me. Have they been struck dumb by my present? Maybe it's my charm and good looks. I mean, you've got the good looks. I'm not sure about the charm. Why is everything so quiet? Come now, I think it's customary to show one's respect through silence, but you don't have you don't need to hush yourselves on my account. This is a party, you may applaud if you want to. I'm used to being applauded when I make a grand entrance. By whom exactly? Shut up, sissy. I drop an elegant courtesy. Still, no one's nobody says anything. I know there's gonna be more characters, and I've only got two voices. There's gonna be at least, least like three or four characters, and I don't think I have three or four girl voices, because I know pretty much every every character in this game is going to be a girl. It's a fucking Yuri visual novel. They're all going to be girls. Oh my god. I don't have four girl voices. We know from we know from Sakura Dungeon that I don't have four girl voices. I don't have two girl voices. Well, this isn't a very lively party. You could at least look a little happy to see me. I met once more with silence. Silence and stares. Oh well, I'm already out of water. I'm actually dying. I had like fucking 500 milliliters, 500 milliliters, 500 milliliters of water, and now I have like none. I walk forward, so I take a glass of red liquid from a skeleton in the corner and sip from it. Hey, I was drinking that. How can you drink it? It goes straight through you. I switch the liquid around in the glass and take another sip. It tastes funny. I mean, I'm guessing the, the skeleton is male, because, you know, why not? I don't know. Have you ever heard of a female skeleton? Not really. I'm sexist, I'm sorry. I guess it's not human blood after all, but wine. Are you serious? It's not blood? What the fuck? Why? Is there no blood? We've only got wine? That's just a letdown. You'd think, Elizabeth, we'd splurge a little for a Halloween party. I'd far, I'd far rather prefer blood. And where do you suggest you procure the blood from? Couldn't she raid a hospital? That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good one, actually. She could raid a hospital. The Countess is getting on in years. Yeah, I guess. Oh, well. I finished my glass and hand it to a passing werewolf. Still, this atmosphere is kind of dull. 
Is it just my imagination, sissy, or is nobody looking at me? I mean, I'm looking at you. Miyu, Mayu, Miyu, Mayu, I don't know how to pronounce your names. Maybe they're so in awe of me that they're, they're too afraid to meet my eye. I'd rather think they're afraid of you, Miyu. Because I'm so terrifying? In more, ma in more ways than one. Remember, you did knock over that candelabra last time you came to this mansion. That was 60 years ago. You set the tiger's skin rug in the entrance hall on fire, if I'm recalling it correctly. Wow, you burnt the tiger skin rug. Good job. It was a simple mistake. You could have burnt Elizabeth's house down. Jeez. I'm sure she's forgiven me. I mean, I'm so cute, and who could, have, who could hold a grudge against me? Elizabeth, she should feel honoured that it was me. It was I, me, who lion court, who, should, who almost burned her house down. God, this girl was so arrogant, but oh my god, she's so fit, so I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. Are you a girl? Are you a boy? There's only two genders. I, I don't know what to give your voice. Oh, fuck me. It's like Sakura Dungeon all over again. Dear lion court? Oh no. Hmm? My eyes twitch. I turn my, my head. I recognise that voice. I recognise the girl it belongs to, too. There, standing on the stairs with a glass of red wine in her right hand, is a witch with a very distinctive fashion sense. Oh, hello. I kind of read the text without listening to you because I wanted to get it done with. Um, yeah, we, can we apparently can't get rid of the text by clicking right click. Um, yeah, she's looking, she's looking pretty fine. She's got some... Well, they're not double Ds. They look like C tits. They're pretty big. They're pretty good. They're pretty big. Yeah, she looks very hot. Nice one. I guess her tasting clothes still hasn't proved e even after all this time. What are you saying? Her fucking clothes are pretty cool. I'd wear that. I mean, not the dress. What am I saying, Thomas? <laughs> he admits to cross-dressing. I'm not. I'm just saying it looks cool. She really hasn't learned anything. Oh, please, I'm going to have to do her voice, aren't I? How many lines do you have? I'm going to die. Oh well, I might as well uh, make her acquaintance. Sabrina, it's been too long, so it's not Elizabeth, it's Sabrina. Ah, uh, Sabrina turns, maybe she's trying to run away. It can't be, who would ever want to run away from me? But I'm too fast for her. Whoa! Whoa! Um, uh, I think that's PG enough, I don't think I need to blur this out. I mean, God, fuck me, it's gonna get, it's not gonna, it's gonna get, it's gonna get more fucking, yeah, I think that's, I think that's, I think that's accepting, I don't think we're gonna get a community strike for this, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not that sexual, right, it's not, it's not, they're not nude, you know, she's only, um, she's only biting at her tits, right, I mean, God, where are we going with this, help me, someone help me, please help me, my channel's going down. Oh, I didn't even get the print screen. I failed to get it. There we go. I can't even, like, right-click. God. I dive forwards, kicking against the wooden floorboards with the soles on my shoes, and pull Sabrina into a tight embrace. Yeah! Or rather, I pull one of her breasts into a tight embrace. Oh my god, what is this game? What is this official novel? Help me! They're so big, I can't help myself! My fingers sink into Sabrina's soft, warm flesh. Yes, yes, yes! My captain squeaks, her face heats up. I forget how red and squirmy witches can get. It re it's really quite delicious. Witches are a completely different species to us vampires. Vampires don't have beating hearts or running blood. Though my face can flush from time to time, my cheeks never get any warmer, and my skin always feels cold. I I your fingers are freezing. See what I mean? <laughs> I know you miss them really, honey. D don't call me honey. You didn't have any problems with it in the past. That was when we were still dating. I broke up with you 60 years ago, Miyu. I remember that. It was after I set fire to the tiger skin rug in this very mansion. Sabrina and I were kicked out of Elizabeth's home. <laughs> Sabrina said I was embarrassment to be seen with. She slapped me and then she uh, stormed off. I have no water left. This is going to be a tough fucking video. I don't know how long I'm going to make it. I haven't seen her since. But I'm sure she's been regretting that hasty, foolhardy decision of hers for the last six, uh, six decades. 
You might have broken up with me, honey, but you weren't in sound mind back then, I'm sure. Who could have ever broken up with the great Mio de... Delia Court. I, I don't know, that's, that's Thingy's voice. Delia Court? No, that's her voice. Oh, God, I'm... Delia Court, I know. Believe me, I know. Sigh. Can you let go of me now? But you're so warm and soft and squishy. I cup her captive breast with my hand and dig my fingers in a little deeper. Sabrina whimpers. And you make such cute noises when you're embarrassed. I I'm not embarrassed. Then why is your face all r red? I, I, I just had a little too much to drink, that's all. L let go. But I'm getting reacquaintance with my old friends. I squish her breasts again. <laughs> this is a is it, this is a ban banquo? Banquo? I poke her tight br- uh, I said, I said tight breast. I mean, they are quite tight. I poke her right breast. And this is Yorick. Oh, you've named her breasts. What? Okay, sure. I poke her left one. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Oh my god, are you? S are you serious? Are you serious, game? Okay. God, Sakura games never disappoint, do they? What? Why do you have to go give my breast names anyway? Just, just let them. Go! Nobody tells the great me what to do. The great me is the. Ugh, this game's gonna kill me. The great me is acting like a great big dummy. Everybody's staring. Let them stare. I just have to be worshipped and admired. I've changed Mia's voice like a hundred times already in this video, and I don't know what to do. They're staring because they think you're. They think you're touched in the head. This is why I broke up with you. You always have to make such a scene. Now, I want to ask again. Let's go. Don't wanna. Right, now. No. Me, you. Sabrina tries to draw away. I cling to her even more tightly. Is this rape? This is definitely rape. There's a sudden, there's a sudden loud rip, uh, ripping of the fabric. And then, oh no. Yikes. We're, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. <We're laughs> you know. You know what? I'm gonna end this video here. We might do a part two, but I'm gonna... Yeah, it's gonna have to be censored. I know what's gonna happen. Her tits are gonna come out, aren't they? So yes, thank you everyone for watching this Halloween special on Sakura Halloween. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. There might be a part two if I want to make it. I'm not sure. If I really want to... There's going to be a lot of editing, I know it for sure. It's going to be so much. I can't believe I got the uncensored version. I was looking online so long for the censored version. And I was like, I can't find it! So, I had to get the fucking uncensored version. And now I'm stuck with this... Going to be a very sexual visual novel. I'm going to enjoy it, but there's going to be so much editing. Because I can't upload, basically, porn to YouTube. It's not going to happen. But yes, thank you, all. thank you for watching this visual novel. I hope to see you in the next uh, episode. Yeah, have a nice day.